physiotherapist. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, a very specific exercise for a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome. So essentially what thoracic outlet syndrome is, it's, where, it's a type of condition in which uh, a bundle of nerves in this region here, which, are, which is called your brachial plexus, uh, it's when these particular peripheral nerves, they become uh, impinged essentially. And so what ends up happening is there, because of the location of this bundle of nerves, uh, different, different muscles and also different structures within this area, in particular your, it's called your first rib, uh, as well as your, your scalenes, which is a muscle in through the neck area, if they're tight or if we have very specific if we're in a, a poor posture of some type, that can actually put some form of uh, compression, right, on these peripheral nerves. As a result of this compression, we can start experiencing all sorts of different uh, peripheral symptoms. And so what I mean by that would be things such as numbness or tingling down into the hand, into the finger, along the side of the arm. Uh, sometimes you can get it kind of in the, in the shoulder region. Uh, there can be different temperature changes again as a result of the, this compression. So uh, it, could, it, it can feel numb or, or cold in that area. Uh, and also another thing that can happen is if we've got compression of any sort of nerve, whether it's a nerve root or a peripheral nerve, uh, as a result of that compression, uh, we can actually start getting some weaknesses right in some of the muscles uh, that that peripheral nerve actually innervates so you can think of it as though the signal from the peripheral nerve to these different muscle groups it's not getting through very well and so you can get what's referred to as some uh, fatigable weakness in different areas and then over time if that signal hasn't been getting through for a long period of time you can actually then notice some um, changes with regards to muscle mass. So people can start experiencing uh, atrophy, it's called, in different muscle groups. So part of the treatment uh, for uh, thoracic outlet syndrome, and there's, and there's tons of different things you have to look into. So again, posture is one of the things, whether there's a compression based on, let's say, uh, a, a, a rib of some type, whether there's uh, some tightness, uh, that's resulting in compression in some of the muscles in through the neck area. One of the things that we have to do uh, as part of the, the conservative treatment for this uh, is what's referred to as a, uh, a, mo a, a tendon or a mobilization gliding exercise or a flossing exercise for the specific peripheral nerves that run down the arm and that actually originate at this brachial plexus uh, region. So. Uh, one way that you can do this particular nerve flossing exercise, uh, and again, there's several different ways that you do these, uh, these specific um, nerve flossing exercises. The one I'm going to show you is actually specifically for, it's called your uh, median nerve. And so essentially, again, your median nerve, it originates out in the brachial plexus, it runs down, uh, down the arm. It actually runs into, it's called your carpal tunnel which is right along the wrist area of the hand, and then it, again, it innervates the hand area. So if there's compression of this particular nerve, uh, as I mentioned, you can get some numbness, tingling, coldness, all these type of uh, sensations, either originating around that sort of brachial plexus area or again, right into the hand region. So one, I'm gonna show you again a flossing exercise specific for the median nerve. And the way it looks is you actually start with your hand in this position here, it's almost uh, uh, like a waiter, essentially, right? So you're holding a tray of food. And then what you're gonna do is, the reason it's called a flossing exercise is you're actually gonna offload the nervous tissue on this side by side bending the head towards the side of the symptoms, right? So you're in this position here. And then at the same time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually fully extend out that hand and you just repeat this movement here and again this is just a mobilization of that particular peripheral nerve so the reason the mobilizations are so important is because again with thoracic outlet syndrome there's compression somewhere of the nerves nerves don't like pressure on it that's where you get all these sensations from so it's going to be really important as part of the rehab for this particular condition to um, mobilize those peripheral nerves. So again, the way you start out, you side bend to offload 
this region here. So you're actually slackening, right, the brachial plexus. And then you're lengthening, mobilizing that nerve by repeating this action. And what you want is to essentially not produce any sort of symptoms with regards to this. So what I mean by that is numbness, tingling, any of those other sensations. The goal is not to produce that. And the progressions typically for this is to start with, again, the head towards the side of the symptoms, then to go into neutral, and then to finish off by actually putting the most amount of stress in through that uh, nerve by side bending away from the symptoms. Typically you want to do three sets of 10 of those and make sure to again check with uh, a physiotherapist uh, before doing any of these exercises. Thanks again for watching. If you have any specific comments or suggestions below, uh, please let me know. Thanks again.